All right. So the topic of this one is pain, terminal situations, and the right to die. Um, this is not normal morality. Please, anyone who wants to comment, I'm going to say this at the beginning, hopefully again at the end, and you have something really big to say, like, do really take the time to maybe cite the point in the video and make a longer than a couple word response. Like, this is not a topic I really feel like hearing any easy answers about, because it's not an easy problem. So, um, pain. Situations in which I pity and don't are basically, uh, if no one is, you know, the first time someone puts their arm in fire, if no one told them, then, you know, like, how are they to know? You pity them. It's really sad. If they do it a thousand times, you go, that's dumb. I don't feel bad for you. Stop doing that. Um, if someone does something they're not culturally supposed to do, or that there's no really good reason, I mean, this one's kind of iffy, but like, because they should know, right? Everyone knows you don't, uh, you don't yell cuss words in public or something like that, right? But it doesn't actually hurt anyone. So I do pity people who feel the need to do something new that doesn't hurt anyone. They go through with it, and everyone gets mad at them and hurts them. I do pity them. People who go around hurting people for no good reason, I don't pity them so much. You know, like, because obviously someone's going to get back at you, or if you can't find a way of doing it without hurting people, then for the most part, you can't find a way of keeping it going. Because eventually it will bite itself. Um, so, those are basic situations in which I do and do not pity. And this all leads into uh, when someone's in a pitiful situation, I think there's three things to do. The first off is to fix it. Fix it at its core. And this is science. There's no other way you're going to get to this one but hardcore science. Studying the situation, being intelligent, very intelligent. And in fact, you never actually reach it because at its core, it's all one problem. Um, existence. It's, it's unnatural to some degree, um, but I digress. So, uh, the second one is alleviate what you can of the, the pain. Create, at least make the situation better than it is bad. And a lot of people get to this and consider that good enough. I don't believe in that. I think that once, even once it's good enough, you have to keep pushing towards solving the problem, uh, specifically because me. Me, my, me personally, my opinion, I am annoyed by people who stop when they get there. Because if everyone who didn't stop, if everyone who got here to the point where the, the you know pain is alleviated enough, you know it's bearable, life is good enough, if they kept going, first of all, no one else would have to go through it, or less people would, and second of all, everyone would benefit. So it's it's really annoying to me. Um, thirdly, and this is where it gets morbid, you can help them die. Because sometimes people are in a lot of pain and there's just no way of helping, you know? There's, you know, medical situations in which it's like, yes, this person really deserves to be put out of their pain. Um, you know, on a battlefield, someone in a hole, you know, like, really just torn up. Like, no one's going to come over. Like, no medic's going to be like, oh, let me put all your organs back in place. You help, you help them die. It's, it's an old, it goes way back in time that there is a point where it's terminal. Um, also, you know, cancer patients. So this is right to die laws and, and stuff like that. Switzerland has amazing right to die laws. They're once again ahead of the curve. Um, in Switzerland, you, you basically, you can just want to die. And they can be like, well, you know, let's check you out with a psychiatrist, make sure that you are, you know, not going crazy right now. If you're totally bonkers, we're going to, you know, wait until you can speak with some, uh, not vision, lucidity. Um, and then, you know, if it's your choice, it's your choice. It makes perfect sense. Uh, cancer patients in, um, what do you call it, Oregon, if they're within, I think, three months of, like, when they're supposed to die and they're terminally ill, then they're allowed to go because why would anyone want to, like, let me just hang out in a bed for three months and think about how my life is slowly dwindling between my fingers. But then there's more complicated ones, like, um, you know, really 
war-torn countries, places like that. Um, when, you know, when is it okay? Well, first of all, it's, you probably don't deserve to be born in a place like that, so that kind of justifies it to some degree. Because, you know, if I mean, if you never would have chosen to be born there, then why should you have to choose to live there? That's ridiculous. Um, secondly, uh, where was I going with this? Oh, there's, you know, no one's going to help. There's no way of solving it. So, I mean, there is a way of solving it. We we all in the non-war torn countries, uh, you know, band together and make some effort. Like, that's going to happen. I mean, as long as popularity is what it is. We're all going to be playing the popularity game, so that's life. Um, perhaps if a person does more good than bad, uh, they're justified in going. But then this starts to get into a weird situation, which is if the thing doesn't die by them leaving, then they're just making it worse. And this is, it, it ties into immigration in a weird way. But I guess first I should say, if we just immediately legalize the right to die with no limitations, um, no like, you know, you have to maybe do more good than bad before you go, or, or something like that, you know, or pay back what you're given, at least that, you know, like, if you've taken this much, you have to give this much back. That would make perfect sense. We could do it with the internet and, and that stuff. It'd be weird to have your value tracked and what you've given and taken to turn into a bad thing, but we could do it. Um, where was I going with this, though? Oh, um, if everyone was allowed to just go, we would lose, I think, the best people, personally. Personally, it seems to me that um, the most intelligent people, the, the greatest artists, the anyone basically with a, you know, a level 2.0, I'm going to say, sentience and above, maybe three, uh, they, they all sort of fit in this category where they've questioned life, and they're generally right in between the, uh, the next stage, in which it's really good, and just being totally bogged down by the, the previous stages, where they're good, but they're dumb, you know? They're not fulfilling for an intelligent person. Uh, so we would lose a lot of those people, the people who are going to bring us potentially over to the next stage of human development, the, the higher being kind of thing. Um, and so that wouldn't be cool, right? So how, how, do you, how do you think about this? Well, I try and think about it in terms of immigration. And this actually kind of flipped my views on immigration, which is I used to think, you know, of course, help them out. Like, get them out of there. Like... But you, what, the whole country, you, you have the whole country immigrate to where you are, then you just end up with their problems, right? And likewise, every single person that you help immigrate out, you end up with their problems to some degree, their culture's problems, the things they were raised around. Um, and maybe they have things to teach, which is true all the time, so to some degree, yes. But like, if you do it too much, then you're importing another country's problems while also exporting the problem solvers for that country, and it just gets bad. Weird thing to think, right? I used to be very pro-immigration, and then after thinking about it like this, it was kind of like, well, maybe, maybe, maybe we're just giving anyone intelligent enough to even start solving the problem an easy out, and they're taking it. Wouldn't it just be life that the people who bring the most joy suffer the most? Wouldn't it just be those people who push on the in-between stage, between low level and higher level, you know, between the popularity game and the, the, the vast, you know, infinite, the people who push that, that they would be in the most pain, it would be really applicable for some horrid reason. I guess it's for the sake of not doing it again. I don't know. Um, but it's, uh, I mean, it's basically the same concept, though. I mean, do we let everyone who's going to help us to the next stage just leave? Well, maybe we would learn, and I doubt it. I, I doubt society would learn to give these people a reason to live. I doubt it, because 
a better reason to live. I mean, I, I don't think that if all the intelligent people killed themselves, the society would be like, okay, we have to start caring about these people and not letting them be shunned, and we have to quit playing the popularity game and be like, no, these people come first, you know, or change the popularity game. I doubt that would happen. I especially doubt it would happen in, you know, ghettos, if we were like, you know, oh no, if you're intelligent, leave. I, I doubt they'd be like, oh, we should start treating intelligent people better so they stay here. Like, that's not going to happen in a ghetto. They're going to start being like, oh, intelligent people who leave are dumb, and similarly, people who kill themselves are considered dumb. So, so painful. But, um, that's basically the, the topic. I mean, when is it okay to leave? Well, maybe if someone, if you have someone replace you, if you have some intention of coming back, you know, like, that kind of thing. Is it fair to say that we should force anyone who's smart enough to try and get out of a ghetto to live in the ghetto just to make it better? Is that fair? God, no. We should go over there and help them, but by that token, someone should come down and help us. You know? It's really, really a tough situation, and that's why I said at the beginning, like, this is... This is, there is no right answer at this point. And it's awful. Honestly, I think the most right answer is just to appreciate that if you're in the ghetto, you should appreciate the intelligent people because they're all that's good there, really. I mean, like, you could be all about the popularity and the money and the gangs and the blah, blah, blah. Or you could appreciate the intelligent people who probably are trying to leave and maybe they'll stick around a little bit longer and actually do you some good. Similarly, um, as a society, we could try and appreciate the people who basically aren't going to leave because they're enslaved by us, I believe. I believe that by not having right to die laws, it's basically society's way of enslaving intelligent people so that they have to work for everyone else's good, because intelligent people do that, you know? Um, so, I mean, basically, I guess we already have them enslaved unless they decide to go off on a hair and do it themselves. Which, uh, another topic, um, it's not easy. Killing oneself is not easy. Don't ever call it an easy way out, because it's not. It's the hardest way out. It's way easier to just keep doing what you're doing. By nature. Um, anyways, though, you know, as a society, I, I suppose I'm, I'm thinking it would be best to appreciate these people, or let them go, because if we're not going to learn to appreciate them, we're never going to make it. So it might as well just become hell, you know? And if we're going to learn to appreciate them, they'll take us to heaven. I mean, not that I believe in heaven or hell, but like, essentially the idea is it either turns into a really bad ghetto, or we appreciate the smart people who will turn this ghetto into something better. So right to die laws, though. When is it okay? Well, I guess if you leave more of a good wake than a bad. Everyone should be like, well, you know what, they did their good, now they don't have to deal with it anymore. I think that's fair. I think that's a fair point. Um, yeah, so that's that's about it. If anyone's really trying to, trying to go, uh, Switzerland has open, open suicide stuff, um, look up exit bags, and make sure to do more good than bad in your time. And I, I would say that you're justified. Also, you know, please don't, I guess. But it's your choice. Just in general, thanks for watching. And uh, be better. Be better to the intelligent people. They're the ones that bring us forward.